Hey, welcome to our channel. So for today, we have another piñata video. And in this video, I will be making a dinosaur. Um, they sent me the picture of what they wanted me to make. Um, I was kind of like, oh, I wanted to like create my own, but it's fine. This is what they want, so I'll give it to them. So I am taking this cardboard. It is a toolbox from something that my husband purchased. And instead of throwing it away, I saved it up. Because as you guys know, I do like to recycle and use as much recycled stuff for my piñata. So right here, I am just cutting out through the middle and removing all the parts that I will not be needing for now. Because I'm not going to throw them away. I'm going to use them for other parts. But this is just to make the main drawing shape of the dinosaur. So right here, I am taking a marker and just doing the outline of how it is going to be so that I could just take some scissors and cut them out. Sorry, cut out the edges. You know, go all around the borders. So yeah, after I do finish cutting this, I do apologize if the camera is like all over the place. I had my son help me and he was showing you guys the color that I'll be using. But anyways, um, he was helping record and then right here I am almost done. Once I do finish cutting the edges, um, I'm just gonna go ahead and take it and place it on top of the other cardboard. And right here my little boy is helping me out. So after I did do the outline, I'm just gonna go ahead and cut it all throughout the edges. So I do want to say that um, if you guys ever want to give this a try, go ahead and do so. Um, the first time I ever made a piñata was when I was about 10 years old with my aunt. She used to make them. And that's where I guess my love for them came out. But then I wouldn't make them at all. Like I only used to help her out. And then when I became a mother, I started making them. So right here, what I am doing is I'm just folding all the papers that I had put to the side, the pieces of cardboard, and I'm going to go ahead and glue this throughout the edges. And I will also be putting some tape to help it stay in place. This is how it's looking so far. I already did all the edges and now I'm just going to go ahead and add the other face to it on top of it. Again, I will be using glue and tape. Right here, I did um, make some holes, and that's where the string is going to go. I'm going to put it throughout and then through the middle right there. I'm just going to take it out to the sides and kind of tie it around so that it could hold up pretty well. And it doesn't rip, because usually if it rips from the handle, like now with me putting it throughout the other holes, it will be able to have some type of support. So as you guys can see, I also punctured a little hole through the other side. And once I do that, I'm just going to pull it out and bring it towards the front underneath the nose and mouth area. And I did kind of make a knot or tie it and then pulled it back. And I did add some glue to the string so that it could attach and some tape to hold it in place. And if the string rips, it won't fall as easy. This is my glue. That's my yogurt. This is all the recycled paper that we'll be using. I have a lot of it. It's already cut up in a bin. So let's cover this baby up. So right here, I am applying the layers of my recycled paper. As you guys know, I always do recycled. And then um, with the brush, I'm just applying the engrudo and making sure that all the paper stays in place. You could use your hand. You don't need necessarily have to use a brush but I like to use it so that my hands don't get um, super sticky or have that all over my hands or I could also use it with gloves so I do start off by the edges and then after I'm done I will work in the center parts of it but I focus on the edges because that's where I really need it to be a little bit stronger this is what it looks like after it's fully covered with about three layers and I'm just gonna set it to dry overnight Okay, now right here I have my dinosaur. It is already completely dry, as you guys can see. It's hard. So, it is time to put my paper. I didn't find this crepe paper in 
this color so since this is the color i'm gonna be using i just grabbed some tissue paper but i will be cutting it like this into french so the way i do this one is i just roll it out And I just continue to fold it because this is going to be faster, you know. This is what makes the cutting a lot more faster. And I just fringe it up. Oops, I did a fringe. Okay, so right here, I am taking the rest of the um, tissue paper. As I said, I didn't find any, what's it called? What's the other one called? Uh, this is tissue paper. The other one is um, cra crepe, crepe paper. There you go. Um, I couldn't find it in this color. So since I did have it in tissue paper, there's no problem. We're going to work with it. I'm just going to go ahead and cut some strips. And after I do do that, I'm just going to fold it in half put one over the other so that I could work a little bit faster. I could go ahead and do one by one, but it's just gonna take me too long. So I'm just putting one on top of the other, folding it in half, and then give it another fold, cut, and then I'm just gonna cut the fringe through it. Once I am done with this, it is time to place it on the dinosaur. Now, right here, I forgot to film the part where um, I added pieces of tissue paper all over kind of like where the color is going to be at where each color is going to go you don't necessarily have to do this but i always do it for the reason that i don't want all that advertisement paper to kind of like be seen throughout and this just helps it look a little bit more professionally done and finish i guess if you could call this a profession but to me it is it's a love that i have for piñatas but anyways um I do always start off at the bottom and right here since it is like a two dimension I guess you could call it um, I'm just gonna go ahead and do all the edges once I did finish doing the edges I'm gonna work on the faces which is gonna be like where you could actually see the dinosaur part so again I am starting at the bottom placing my glue you could use glue hot glue um, I'm using the engrudo for this one because I already have like a big jar of it that I made and it works perfectly well the same as glue and what I like about it is that since I am applying it with a brush um, it gives me time and to just place it and I don't have to be adding as I go I could just add a big stroke of it and it works great once I did finish covering it up, now it's time to add the details. As you guys can see, we need eyes, teeth, and um, the rest of the parts of it. So I did take some yellow paper, some black, green, orange, white. And right here, I had already cut parts of the circles. And I'm just showing you guys how I'm doing it. And I'm just tracing it. So it is going to be six of these because... It goes three, but then I am making it double face, so where you can see the dinosaur through the both side, through both sides. Sorry, these are for the eyes. Again, um, they're pretty basic shapes, so this is honestly a real easy piñata. If anything, the only thing that you actually have to like draw out is the hand. And so I already did one of them, and I'm just gonna go ahead and trace it out and cut it the on the feet it does have two nails so it is kind of like a half circle shape and what else do i need oh the teeth the teeth are really easy also um as you guys can see it's kind of like a u-shaped i don't know but those are the teeth they if you guys notice it does have four Oh, these are the eyes all the eyes i just did different circles so right here i am adding all of the um the finishing touches so it's really easy to make if you want to give this a try i would love to see you guys do it um 
you could always tag me on Instagram so that I could take a look at it. And something that I did a little bit different was just that um, the original piñata, the picture had four teeth and I ended up adding five because I felt like it needed one more, like it was missing one. And yeah, just going to go ahead and glue everything in place and after that I am finished with the piñata. So yeah, um, if you are new to this video, go ahead and check out the rest. One of the latest ones and better piñatas that I have made is the Mario one. So this is the way the piñata came out. I really like it. I think it does look like the picture. Um, it is a little bit taller. The original one was about 17 inches. And this one, I think it's about 20 something. I'm not sure. But this is a hole for the candies. I put a little paper so that they know where they go. Because sometimes people don't know. And they just dig another hole in there. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. Please consider subscribing. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up, comment down below anything else that you would like to see and see you guys next time.